We're studying right now a technique, it's a brain stimulation technique, and it's called Repetitive Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation, or RTMS. And the reason that we're studying it is that there's been a lot of experimental evidence that shows that RTMS actually helps prime the brain in those areas that have been affected by the stroke and get them ready to relearn new functions when it's paired with something like rehabilitation after stroke. My name is Gordon Grant, and I was a stroke patient at Breer. After being in the auto hospital for about six days, I came to Breer, and I was so fortunate to, to get in. The staff, I, I was really, really happy with them. The, the nurses, everybody, and, and the, the physio and the speech, everybody was so, so nice to me. It gave me more ambition to, to do well. RTMS primes the brain by exciting the little bundles of neurons in their brain that are responsible for sending the signals to do a certain task. So by increasing the excitability in those neurons, then those tasks can become consolidated and learned much better. Rehabilitation after stroke is something that's quite challenging, takes a very large, dedicated team, and takes a lot of effort from the patients. The, the brain stimulation felt really good, and uh, it didn't really, feel, didn't really feel anything. Over the past few decades, there have been a lot of advances in the acute care of stroke, and this means that there are more people surviving and more people who need rehabilitation. So immediately after a stroke, there's a window of opportunity of a few weeks or a few months where intense rehabilitation will provide better outcomes. RTMS is designed to increase the benefit that the patients are already getting from their occupational therapy and their physiotherapy. And the increased outcome can be quite dramatic. Despite the evidence for this technique and the benefits for stroke patients, there's no large definitive clinical trial evidence, which means that at present, Health Canada this isn't approved therapy for stroke patients. So CanStim, our national network, of which Briere is one of eight active sites, our main goal is to really get this from the experimental setting into clinic and become a standard of care for patients after stroke. There's been an increase in the amount of technology that has been added to rehabilitation for stroke. And the intent is to increase people's ability to go home and reintegrate into the community. And the more we can continue working in this area, the better outcomes we'll be able to give to people after stroke so that they can live their best lives.